Hey y'all, it's me again, Valerie, and welcome back to my yarn room. Yay! Okay, before we get started, I would like to invite anybody who has not already did that word subscribe. When you do, give the videos a thumbs up, share them if you can, and leave me a comment. Okay, y'all see this pretty pattern I got in front of me? Okay, um, there's a couple of ways you can do this, but I'm going to show you the way I do it. Um, I like putting a row of single crochets at the bottom and the top to finish it off, because over here on the sides, you, you don't need a border. The, the shells, whatever you want to call them, the pattern, kind of creates its own border on the sides. All right. Y'all ready to get started? It's really, really easy. And it's only one row. Yep. You can sit blindly and, and just watch TV and get real engrossed in a movie and just... Crochet your little heart out. <laughs> Alright. We're going to show y'all how to do this pretty pattern. And remember. One row. Alright. Give me just a second. I'll be right back. Alright. I'm back. Alright. Now I've got my number four worsted weight yarn. Uh, some people call it a uh, Aaron weight. Um, I've got my handy dandy J10 six millimeter crochet hook. Now, this pattern, you you do a chain, and the chain count is multiples of four plus two. So, what that means is, is you do this. One, two, three, four. Well, there's one multiple of four. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, why not? Let's do one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then, a plus two means one, two. That's it. So, anytime you see that in, a, like, a written pattern, that's what they're talking about. Okay, now, I y'all know, I don't do the, the stitch itself. I, I go into the bumps on the back. And I'm going to go into the second one. So, right up under your yarn, that's your first bump. And then this one here, that would be your second bump. And you do a single crochet. And then you go in every single one and put one single crochet in each. Just like that. And I'll meet you back when I get down here. Okay. I got my single crochets done. One in every single one. So, I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to turn. Now, the chain one don't count. Alright. I don't like to do a long chain here and then start a pattern because to me it just don't look right so I'm going to yarn over I'm gonna go right back in that very first one right there 
And I'm put a double crochet. Okay? And then I'm going to go back in the same one. And I'm going to put two more. Well, I did a half double. There we go. <laughs> All right, one more. There we go. So, I went, I chained one, and then that first space, I put three doubles. Okay, now I'm going to yarn over. And then we'll skip three. So, one, two, three. And then that fourth stitch, I'm going to go in it, and I'm going to do four double crochets. In the same stitch. Now this ain't the repeat row. This is like a a foundation. I guess it's kind of the repeat row. Because you do the same thing on every single row. Okay. Got my four doubles in that one. Now, I'm going to yarn over, and I'm going to go do it again. I'm going to skip three. And in that fourth one, I'm going to put four doubles. Okay, now, the same thing, yarn over, and one, two, three, and then the fourth one, four doubles. So, on the beginning and the end of every row, you're just going to do three doubles in the same stitch. On every single row. Alright, got my four. Alright, I'm going to yarn over. And again. There's one, two, three. In that very last one. Well, I just said it. In the first and the last. You're only going to do three. So, I'm going to do three doubles. Because I'm at the end. All right, I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to turn. Now, see, that's the back side. But I'm getting ready to work front side doubles on the back side. So, like I said, uh, I think it was yesterday or day before. I don't remember. I don't remember what I had for supper last night. <laughs> um, One row repeats are going to pretty much look the same on both sides. Alright, so I chained one. Now, I'm going to go back in that very first stitch. And I'm going to put three doubles. I gotta pull out some yarn. I thought I had enough pulled out, but apparently I didn't. Okay. Back to the pattern. Now, this is the repeat row, okay? This is what you're gonna do the remainder of whatever you make with this. And you can make anything with this. I think this would be cute top. All right, you're going to yarn over, and you're going to skip them next two doubles, okay? Then you're going to come over here, and you're going to skip them two doubles, but you're going to go right here. In between those four doubles, I know we didn't chain there. It don't matter. You're going to go in between them four doubles. 
Just like that. And you're going to put four doubles. So, no, it's not a double V-stitch. You see how it's doing? All right, and then you're going to yarn over. And you're going to come over here. And right in between those four doubles. Because you got two right there. And you got two right there. You want to go right in between them. And you want to put four doubles. There we go. Four doubles. Alright, and you want to do it again. And again, and again, and again. Just putting four doubles in between the four doubles. And right in the middle. So, you want to go... In between the second and third double of every shell that you put in. And then we're going to skip right over here to that very last stitch when you get to the end. And you want to put three doubles. And then chain one and turn. And do the same row over and over and over. Now, if you want to change colors, you can pretty much do it anywhere you want to. Like, if you want to put stripes of different shells, you can. Anywhere. And it, it looks good in any color you do it in. I, I had a, a swatch of pink. That I started doing this pattern. I wished I still had it. Because I'd do it like this. And put the pink up here. It, it does. This this pattern looks good in anything. Any color you want to do it in. Ooh, it'd probably be real pretty in a variegated. But anyway. That is going to be all for today. And uh, I will meet y'all back here in the next one. For another grand adventure right here in Val's Yard and Room. All right, I truly do love each and every single one of y'all to pieces. And uh, do something nice for somebody, even if it's just a smile. All right, um, oh, tomorrow is uh Wednesday, so that's uh. T-G-I-F-F-W and, and Val's Picks. Ooh, I think I get to show my temperature blanket tomorrow. Yeah, because it's the first Wednesday of the month. Okay. I got to get more yarn because I run out before I start on next month. Ooh. Only a couple skeins. But still. Um... And I got uh, something planned for, I believe, next week. It's a, a scrap yarn project. Yep. All you do is you just take your scrap yarn and, and work this. It, it don't matter. I probably would suggest that it all be the same weight. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think that's going to be it. So, uh. I'll see y'all in the next one. Uh. Get your crochet, y'all. Bye, y'all. <laughs>